teacher Leila and today I'm going to talk about two very important elements in our teaching practice that is TPR and props. TPR stands for total physical response which is actually a combination of movement and the language to enhance language acquisition. Very important thing to emphasize is the R. The R stands for response. So it actually means that we do not want only our teachers to practice TPR techniques or movements. We want our students to give us a response in following our instructions or doing certain actions themselves combined with the target language. So, we have instructional TPR and educational or content TPR. What is instructional TPR? Okay, let's pretend that you are my students. Okay? Okay, so students, I want you to stand up, sit down, stand up, Sit down. Stand up. <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm kidding. You can sit down. So, I gave you instructions and you followed them. Okay, let's go to more complicated one. Let's assume that we are introducing a new word. For example, a book. So, we want to drill our students and we want them to repeat a new word. How do we do that? So, one can say, hmm, it's easy, I will just say, students, I will say a word and I want you to repeat. Hmm, not a very good idea because some of your students will understand while others won't. So, try this approach, a book. A book. A book. A book. Okay, if it doesn't work from the first time, just be consistent. And you can also include a phrase. I say, you say. I say, you say. Sometimes instead of pointing like this, I use this move as well. And do not forget, your eyes can speak and your whole face as well. So, when we ask a question, what do you see in the picture? Hmm, this is a good way to ask. What is this? Sentences can sometimes be very challenging, so this is a good tip. Well, at least I think so. <laughs> Let's assume we want our students to answer our question. What do you see? And they say, for example, an apple. While well, we want them to say the whole sentence. So. The good way to instruct them would be to do it this way. I see an apple. I see an apple. So then they will understand that you want them to answer in a whole sentence. Okay, so this is about the instructional TPR. This is the TPR that we use for giving instructions and not wanting our students to repeat our moves and actions. On the other hand, educational or content TPR is the one that we use when we expect our students to do the same actions as we do. So, for example, we can run, sleep, And one of my favorite, eat. The key is to engage our students, 
give them a memorable experience, but also to target our kinesthetic type of learners. A few things to remember when talking about TPR. Act it out and speak slowly. 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 Make it simple. Point and use your whole body. Whole body. <laughs> okay, and now for the end to understand the importance of TPR, let's put ourselves into our students' shoes. Ciao! Ja se zovem Leila. Drago mi je što vas vidim. Hmm. You didn't understand the word. I know. <laughs> but let's do it this way. Ciao! Ja se zovem Leila. Leila. Drago mi je da vas vidim. I'm sure you understood at least a concept. Hello, my name is Leila and I'm so happy to see you. I do hope that you will find these tips useful. And now let's see what does it look like in practice. Hello. Hello, my friend. How are you? Nice to hear that. I'm so happy to see you. Do you know my name? Leila, yes, excellent. Oh, I really, really love working with you. Can't wait for this lesson. You know what? I realized I have never told you that I love to eat. I love to eat. <laughs> My favorite food mm -hmm, are apples and strawberries. Strawberries. Uh -huh. Do you love apples? Yes? No? Yeah. Yes! Okay. And how about strawberries? Do you love strawberries? Yes? Yeah. Yes! Okay, great. And tell me, what color are apples and strawberries? Red! Yes! Awesome! Well done! Number one. Show me headache. Number one. Only number one. <laughs> okay. Headache. Good one. Great! Everybody clap your hands! Okay, good. Number two. Number two. Show me stomach ache. Okay, great. Okay, number three. Number three. Show me cold. <laughs> yes, excellent. Great. And number four, show me toothache. Toothache. Yes, bravo, my friends. Excellent. Yay. Great. And I'm going to give you one. Two, three, four coffees. Yes, nicely done. Good job. Thank you. You can sit down. And now let's talk about props. Let's talk about props, baby. Let's talk about you and me. <laughs> 
I'm sure you have heard this quote. I have enough shoes, said no woman ever. I have enough props, said no online English teacher ever. We all know when we use props, we make more engaging lessons and the whole experience of the lesson will be more memorable. So, we can use props in a standard way to reinforce the meaning of a target vocabulary. For example, flower, a flower, or box, a box. But this flower can also be a reward for excellent answer of our students. So, props can be objects that we relate to target language, but we can also use them as rewards to enhance the accomplishment of our students. So, for example, I have different rewards. Flower that I have mentioned, I have lots of balloons for my excellent students. I have a medal as well. A crown because they are my kings and queens. When making props, make sure that they are visible, that they are in light colors and that their size is good enough. This is not a good prop. This is a good prop for our students that are shining stars. And now I would like to show you how to use one prop in different ways. This is obviously a book. Okay, so we can use it when introducing a new word, a book. Okay, so when we want to teach the plural, we can use two books, obviously or three books. Okay, so books can also be used when teaching numbers and counting. One, two, three, four. I also use books when I want to teach adjectives such as light and heavy. Light, heavy, heavy. Okay, so this is also my favorite prop set. Okay, so this is obviously a box. What I have inside is a ball. So these two I use not only for a word ball or a white ball, or box, blue box. I use these for teaching prepositions. Next to the box, under the box, behind the box, in the box. So I guess what I want to tell you is to think outside of the box and find many different and uh, interesting ways how to make your lessons more engaging and how to make it a memorable, memorable, memorable experience for your students. Thank you for watching! Bye-bye!